Hi guys, it's Nicole. So it has now been 10 months since my gastric bypass surgery and I am down a total of 109 pounds. Um, I have three more pounds to go until I'm at goal. And yeah, things are going really well. Pretty much, a little asterisk, we'll talk about that. Um, so some stats for you. So I started this journey at 224 pounds. I'm currently at 115 pounds. My goal is 112. I wanna be half my weight. Um, so yeah, three more pounds to go and I'll be there. So really exciting. I am five feet tall. I know people like to like to ask that. Um, so I am a shorty. <laughs> um, things, yeah, like I said, seem to be going pretty well. Um, I know in my last video or my nine month video I was talking about some kidney stone issues I was having. Um, those seem to have resolved. I did get scanned and nothing was on the scan. So I think, I'm hoping that that was just like a little one-off, you know, a, a, a random string of, of stones that I'll never have to deal with again. So hopefully, hopefully that's better. Um, I did, I did develop an ulcer. So I am um, being treated for that, taking high dose of Meprazole a couple times a day as well as Caraphate to coat my stomach lining and then trying, trying to um, scale back my diet and kind of go for more softer, blander foods to allow my stomach some time to heal. Um, I, I will be honest, I'm having varying levels of success with that because the surgery fixes your body, it does not fix your mind. And I recently got into a really bad snacking habit and I just, I need to rein my eating back in and I'm having a little bit of difficulty doing that. So that is something I'm currently working on. Um, it hasn't affected the scale at all. I've continued to lose weight, but I do feel like um, I'm losing a little bit of control of the, of the healthy eating habits I had established. So I'm going on vacation in a couple of days. Um, I'm going to Southern Utah, down to Zion National Park and Bryce National Park um, to do a bunch of hiking. I got a permit to climb Angel's Landing, which is, I don't know, some people say the scariest hike in the country. Um, I don't know, other people say it's not that bad. So, I don't know, people die on that hike. I, I do not plan to be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna be challenging um, and I mean I could not have done that ten months ago a year ago I no, no. I feel very lucky to one I got a permit to do it to not a lot of people get the permit so I feel lucky in that but I also feel lucky in that I'm currently you know fit enough to do that um, but when I get back from this vacation I'm really going to buckle down and focus on um, my eating habits Sorry if you can hear a cat meowing in the background. My sister has a cat, um, or it's rather my niece's cat, and that cat thinks that she needs to be in the room with me at all times, and I'm allergic, so <laughs> she gets little she gets little bit periods of time in the room with me. Other periods of time she has to be out there so I can recuperate, <laughs> but she's a little demanding. As cute as can be, but demanding. Anyway, I apologize. So yes, when I get back from vacation, um, it's I'm refocusing on my eating habits I, I think I'm going to try um, a meal delivery service um, just because I, I just got a part-time job um, working with a professional sports organization and that's about to start up here soon and um, I am going to be so much more busy than I already am it's a very busy season. So yeah, so I'm gonna try a meal delivery service. I'll probably start with Factor, um, and they have like keto programs or low carb programs, um, and really see how those work out. Because um, if you watch my video where I show you what I eat in a day, I'm not a very good cook, or I'm, I just, actually when I put my mind to it, I'm a, I'm a decent cook, but it's just, having the time and the desire to, to get some cooking done. Um, yeah, those are areas in which I'm lacking. So, anywho, um, that's what I have on my, on my horizon. Um, but yeah, things are going pretty well, aside from the, the stomach issue. So, the, the ulcer, I've been having some, some stomach upset, but I think what really happened was 
um, I was having really bad shoulder pain and I went to the doctor. I thought I maybe had torn my rotator cuff because it got to the point where I couldn't lift my arm up, um, like to wash my hair in the shower or to even like take my clothes off. It got pretty bad. Um, but I actually have a calcified tendon. So um, he recommended a steroid injection, which I have had a lot of steroid injections in my life. And that was one thing that I made sure of when I had this surgery that I could continue to do because I couldn't do NSAIDs anymore, couldn't do oral steroids, um, and I have an arthritis condition. Um, but my, my doctor told me, you know, interarticular in steroid injection, so right into the joint would be fine. And so I, I assumed that that's what the kind of injection I was getting into my shoulder, I should have clarified. He did do an, a subacromial injection, but then he also did another injection right on top of the tendon, and that one went systemic. Like I got the steroid flush that I used to get when I would take oral steroids, and just the next night my stomach was just, like I couldn't even take, I couldn't drink water, it hurt so bad, and I was so nauseated. And just, it was awful. The only thing that helped was a meprazole. Um, and you know, finally I, I got in touch with my bariatric team, and we talked through my symptoms and yeah they they agreed that it was most likely a, an ulcer i may have already been developing an ulcer and just that steroid systemic steroid maybe amplified it anyway just a small bump in the road um, i'm already feeling a lot better with the omeprazole and the caraphate um but yeah so that's where we are um and my shoulder feels amazing after the steroid injection so oh, let's hope that that heals itself i'll be do i'll be doing pt here shortly um to ensure that i don't further injure it um some of you will be happy to know that i have made the decision to cut my hair so my hair isn't falling out as bad anymore but it's still falling out and it's just like really 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 thin but I mean my hair is really really long <laughs> too so I am going to be getting a cut it's just a matter of finding time I have a couple of people I know who can who can cut it for me but um, yeah I need to make an appointment well this is gonna be a very short video today I just wanted to let you guys know how things are going 10 months after um, surgery and you know there's there I think they're going really well um, there are the things like hair loss. My skin is so incredibly saggy. Like, I can't believe just, I look like a deflated balloon, melted candle. Like, I look like on, you know, in the movie Men in Black where she says, you're wearing an Edgar suit. Like, I look like I'm wearing somebody else's skin. Um, it's very bizarre. Um, it's, it doesn't, it bothers me, yes it bothers me, but it's not, it's not like making me depressed or anything. Like I would take the saggy skin over, um, you know, the bulges I had before, um, but it is just, it's more, it's more like, it's just more astounding just how much skin loose skin I have um, it just it just like boggles my mind um, maybe at the one year maybe at my one year I'll do a video where I show you my sagging skin I'll have to get brave for that but maybe maybe that's what I'll do for my one year I'll show you I'll show you my sagging skin <laughs> um, anyway I don't know, maybe it's not that interesting to other people. <laughs> um, overall, still very glad that I had this surgery and very excited for, for the opportunities it's allowed me. Um, and yeah, I'm just looking forward to continuing to live the life that I haven't been able to live for so long. I feel like for so long I was held back and wasn't allowed to be the person I really am. <laughs> but, but I feel like I am finally her. I am finally living the life that I was meant to, to live. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.